Hello and welcome to our latest online tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to install WordPress into your new hosting account. Each account that we create comes with a special software installer package called Fantastico Deluxe. By accessing the Fantastico Deluxe installer, you can quickly and easily install new software into your hosting account such as WordPress, Joomla, Drupal or other important packages of free open source software available on the internet. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open a browser window to log in to the back end of your website through the cPanel. To do this, open a browser. In my case I have opened the Chrome browser and in the address bar type the address of your website. You'll notice on this website uh, we have index of slash that is because we currently have nothing installed. So to access the cPanel we click in the address bar you see the blinking cursor and we type slash cpanel to enter the cPanel. The cPanel login screen appears and you type in your username and password And now we have entered into the back end of our website, which is the cPanel control panel. To access our Fantastico uh, Deluxe uh, screen, you'll notice uh, we scroll down, and it's here under the category of software and services. There's a small icon I'm pointing at, you see, Fantastico Deluxe. We'll ignore everything else for now. Click on the Fantastico Deluxe icon and you will be taken to the Fantastico Deluxe screen. Once you have reached the Fantastico Deluxe home page screen, you will notice on the left hand side of the window different categories of software installers. For example, we have blogs, classifieds, content management systems, customer relationship software, discussion boards, e-commerce, FAQ software, hosting billing, image galleries, mailing lists, polls and surveys, project management, site builders, wiki, other scripts, and extras. At this time, we will not explore all of these different categories of software. The most important one for us to focus on at this time is the fifth item down on the navigation, which is WordPress. Click on the word WordPress and you will be taken to the WordPress installer screen. Each one of the installer screens for each of the categories of software has a short description of what the software is and what it does. Also, the home page of the website where you can find the original software is listed. Support forums or other important links are also listed, as well as the version information of the software you're installing. In this example, it's WordPress version 3.1. It also indicates the amount of disk space required for the software and the amount of disk space that is available on your website for the installation. Also, it mentions current installations. In this case, you see none. If the software was installed, important information would be indicated in this spot. To install the software, it's as simple as clicking on the link that says New Installation. Before I actually install WordPress, I want to take a minute to talk about proper passwords for your website. Click on New Installation and you come to the first of three screens for the installation of your website. And um, we've already decided where we'll install it. We've already decided on what our username uh, and administrator username and password would be. So if we called it admin we need a password. Now, most people would put a password which is easy to remember, such as their name. The problem is that that's very easy for hackers to guess. 
So what I am suggesting is when you choose a password, choose a combination of upper and lower case letters. Better still yet, upper and lower case letters and numbers. And very, very, very hard for a hacker to get into is an account with a password that has uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. For example, I could choose A7 lowercase h question mark O7 uppercase T and exclamation mark. That would be very hard for somebody to guess. I actually have already chosen a number, which is, I pasted it right here. As you can see, that's uppercase W E 8 7 question mark uppercase R 3 dollar sign uppercase U. That is very, very hard for somebody to actually hack into. So it makes it hard for a person trying to break into your website to get into it. There is software out there that will attempt and uh, they, that they can use to attempt to hack into your WordPress website. Creating a good password is very very important. Once you're done just click here to install WordPress and it will automatically install your site. All right, now that we have added a password, the admin email, and chosen an administrator username, we're ready to install WordPress. And so I'm going to install WordPress onto the website. I'll delete it shortly afterwards, but let me just click the button and you can see what happens. Now that was very quick. It only took a few seconds and as you can read here it says install WordPress 2 of 3 this is the second of three screens the MySQL database and MySQL user Charles WRDP1 will be created and used for this installation you can install in the main directory of the domain charleslogico.com the access URL will be http charleslogico.com click on finish installation to continue so click on finish installation and in just a few moments there we go install WordPress screen 3 of 3 here you can see the path to the WP config PHP file and the data SQL file um, uh, we also see here uh, a reminder uh, of the username and password to enter into the admin area. The username is password and there is the password. Uh, the username is password and the password is we87 question mark r3 dollar sign u. Uh, if you want to enter into the website you can click here. I won't do that right now. The other important thing is for you to know is to click here and to type the email address to have the installation send you an email with all the information that you just entered. For example, if you were installing, a, if your email address was joeblow at gmail.com, you would type it in and click on send email. I'm going to open it in a new screen, open link in new tab. And here we have WordPress. You'll notice up here in the taskbar, charleslogico.com WP login PHP. So I'm going to type in password and I'm going to take the password that we have right here, copy, and I'm going to paste it in here and now I'm going to log in. Thank you for watching this WordPress training video. Please visit our website at www.creativewebdesign123.com.